Cruella, waiting for the kill. Cruella. Do it, do it! <laughs> Anita, darling. Why is she purple, though? This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by PetSmart. There's dog shit everywhere, and I'm not cleaning it up. You know, I'm not cleaning it up. You're using litter box. <laughs> Why can't they have like puppy pads, but for adult dogs? If I have a dog going outside, that dog needs to wear some boots. Whatever's been on the ground, roach juice, rat secretions, New York dew. A little moisture, a little dew. Dew, so a little dew. Get that close to Mr. Liston again. Dew or no dew? Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And Brooke. Thank you so much for tuning in to a brand spanking new episode of Two Freckled Friends. If your pets are trudging New York City streets, dirt, debris, and dander into your apartment, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. This week, I'm feeling contagious. So contagious that I think I'm starting to develop spots. Brooke, why don't you tell the good folks out there what we're watching this week? Today, we are watching Disney's 1961 101 Dalmatians. When I was a child, this movie was brought back out of the Disney vault and put on VHS. So every time I would watch it, I never realized it was made in 1961. Yeah, we definitely had a conversation once where you were like, oh, my favorite 90s Disney movies. And you definitely mentioned this. I was looking at you like, oh, what? If you're brand new to our channel, what Brooke and I are going to do is we're going to watch 101 Dalmatians. We'll give our own thoughts. And from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. So without further ado, the 1961 Pet Lovers Unite around the world. It is the one, the only, 101 Dalmatians. Let's roll it. Here we go. And three, two, one, play. I did always think this intro was creative. Yeah. My story begins in London. I live with my pet in a bachelor flat just off Regent's Park. Regent's Park today is money. That's my pet, Roger. Roger Radcliffe. A musician of sorts. My name's Pongo. Hi, Pongo. This is so bored. The old notion that a bachelor's life, glamorous and carefree, was all nonsense. Downright dull. When the pet dog is complaining about the bachelor's life in 61. It is certainly necessary to, for a society to suppress certain kinds of behavior uh, that may be harmful to members of the citizenry. My old pet needed someone. Why would you put cigarette butts on a couch like that? He was married to his work, writing songs. Songs about romance, of all things, he knew absolutely nothing about. Pongo, are you saying you want Roger to get in a relationship because the house is dirty? I mean, look at it. We will clean all these apartments super fast. And the end result will definitely be sickeningly satisfying. No reason why my pet didn't deserve an attractive mate. I was determined to do my best. Dogs are a pretty poor judge of human beauty. Unusual breed. <laughs> oh, the artist. Surely not. Yeah, the little pompous one. Pongo on here like it's tender for dogs. We have a little bite off all, all up in the air. Now there's a fancy breed. You don't make six figs, Pongo. Even as a kid, I'd like that one. Perhaps a little too fancy. You're not a high value man, Pongo. <laughs> Damn. You live an interesting life. I mean, you're 34 working in the warehouse. What are you doing that's interesting? Too old, too young. At least he knows when too young is too young. Yeah, you're right. How old are you really? Nearly 13. You take love where you can find it as you get old. That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Well, now that's a bit more like it. The most beautiful creature on four legs. She's very lovely too. We're heading for the park. If I could only arrange it. Walking a dog in heels in the park. Roger never stopped work till after five. That'd be too late. 
up to five already. Brainstorm, how come you don't be plotting All like right, this? Pongo. <laughs> <laughs> Pongo boy, take it easy. <laughs> Not you, ho. At first I was afraid we'd miss them. Then suddenly I spotted them. Perfect situation if I planned it right. I couldn't depend on Roger. It was all up to me. <laughs> Purdy said, uh, who did? Yeah. Oh, you silly old thing. There you go. Well, for a while, it seemed to work. They'd seen one another. Things were going along first rate. But for some strange reason, they left. <laughs> we're going home. Why did they leave? Being a nuisance. Don't leave. Don't leave. No, no, no. Oh! I beg oh. your pardon. I'm so oh. sorry. Oh. 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 My new spring suit and my new hat. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know you. I'm terribly sorry. I'm this way before. I, I, oh, 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 I said take mine. <laughs> it's business time. Did he just lick his lips? He sure did. It's business. It's business time. That's what you're trying to say. You're trying to say let's get down to business. It's business time. I would love to know what the turnaround time for this was. I will. We lived in a small house near the park. Just right for two couples who were just starting out. I'm sure that house now is worth a lot of money. Perdita, are you alright? Oh, her real name was Perdita. Of course, dear. Dogs were having puppies long before our time. <laughs> That's Nanny, a wonderful cook and housekeeper. Kind, understanding. We can afford a housekeeper! Roger, dear! Tea time! She has the same body type as Madame Mim. I'm the magnificent! Mad Madam Mim. Da -dum, da -da -dum. Do you like my new song? Tee ta tum. Melody first, my dear. Then the lyrics. Hmm? That's right. Oh, Pongo. It's her. It's her. That devil woman. She know from the sound of the honk of the car up the street. <laughs> Must be Cruella, dearly devoted old schoolmate. Cruella de Vil. That's it. That's it. it. Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil, no evil thing will take a sudden chill. Oh! Cruella, waiting for the kill. Cruella. Do it, do it! <laughs> Anita, darling. Why is she purple, though? Perfectly wretched. Where are they? Where are they? Bitch, you smoke it all up in my house. For heaven's sakes, where are they? How does she know this? Don't. The puppies, the puppies. No time for games. Ultimate troll them. Where are the little brutes? It'll be at least three weeks. Here, dog. Isn't that a new fur coat? I can't tell if those are cheekbones or if she's got bone spurts just sticking out. It's a mixture of snorting too much cocaine and cheek filler. <laughs> My only true love. I worship furs. I worship furs. Hit the low note, Roger. I'd like a nice fur. There are so many other things. Simple Anita. She's wearing a house payment. With them ugly shoes. This horrid little house is your dream castle. How are you gonna walk into my house with my 12 foot ceilings and insult my property? I'm the owner of this house. You the hoe. You ain't got no power or no deed. That's perfectly beautiful coach. She definitely got stage four lung cancer. Let me know when the puppies arrive. To promise. See you in three weeks. Cheerio. Cheerio my ass. Anita, why did you tell her about the puppies? Watching you from underneath a rock The world was such a wholesome place until Cruella de Vil Look at Purdy. Purdy's like, get me out of here. That devil woman, she wants our puppies. All she's after. They're on to her. Y'all keep letting her in the damn house. What does she want with them? She can't possibly love them. Pongo. Oh. I wish we weren't having any. <laughs> That's real. Don't we have that same issue as women today? The world is garbage. We don't want to bring children into the world. We're seeing more and more women not having children. If you don't want to have kids, something must be wrong with you if that's not in your path or that hasn't happened for you. They're always going to face that from somewhere. Poor Perdita. Of course, she had no choice. The puppies arrived right on schedule. Stormy night in October. That woman was wearing that fur in like September then? You got to be kidding me. She was wearing a polar bear. <laughs> Woo!
Oh! Daddy boy. The puppies are here! Puppies are here! Eight! You just now telling us when there's eight? You couldn't tell us when the first one came out? Thirteen! Fourteen! Pongo, you didn't miss! Oh, fifteen! Look at that face! Fifteen puppies! Pongo boy, that's marvelous! Fourteen! Fourteen! We lost one poor little thing. Warm him up. Gotta warm him up. And yet I wonder. It's a little nose. We still have 15. Roger, he's all right. Thank heaven. 15 puppies. 15? 15 puppies? Who don't lock the doors? One good turn deserves another. How marvelous, how marvelous. Oh, the devil take it, they're mongrels. No spots at all, what a horrid little white rat. Uh, they'll get their spots. Just wait and see. They'll have their spots in a few weeks. I'll take them all, the whole litter. Name your prize, dear. I'm afraid we can't give them up. Fedita, she'd be heartbroken. You can't possibly afford to keep them. <laughs> You can scarcely afford to feed yourselves. Roger's songs. <laughs> Not of this nonsense. I'll pay you twice what they're worth. Wretched, wretched pin. <laughs> when can the puppies leave their mother? At never o'clock, bitch. Never. Come on, Roger. Drop them balls. What? We're not, not s selling the puppies. Surely he must be joking. I, I mean it. And, and that's final. You horrid men. Keep the little beast for all I care. Drown them. Juanita, we're through. I'll get even. You'll be sorry. You... You idiot! And you brought my one... You were magnificent, darling. A blooming hero. Purdy, we're keeping the puppies. Every single one of them. Oh, darling, she's gone for good. Oh, just put in triple overtime, Pongo, okay? These little things. Can you go away? Shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm just imagining all the dog shit you have to clean up. And what it smells like in there. Go get that dirty old horse thief. What's he going to do, Dad? Let's just wait and see. The yellow livered old skunk. I like to tear his gizzard out. Patch, where did you ever hear such talk? Somebody been playing Red Dead, Patch. <laughs> Lucky, Lucky, get down. We can't see you. There he is beyond that rock. He shot poor Thunder. Oh, Thunder's pretending. See, what did I tell you? Lucky, if you don't get your ass down. <laughs> All them dogs on the furniture. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. Not the waterfall. <laughs> Speaking of... Yeah! Oh my god. Canine Crunchy's champion of all dog biscuits. Do it. Canine Crunchy's can't be beat. They make each meal a special treat. Dude, fish is Canine Crunchy's. W A L K. We want to go too, Mother. We never get to go. Because y'all still using pee pads. <laughs> That's why we still have newspapers no, all over the place. Oh god, they got fireplace soot everywhere, too. Three, four, five. That's how you know you got a lot of kids when you have to count them. Did you count heads? Five boys, six girls, four parents, two drivers, and a partridge in a pear tree. I'm hungry. Fourteen. Fourteen. And where the hell is Lucky? Hey, 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 hey. You can be a champion too if, if you eat in my crunchies. Let's go. How do you think it would be walking 15 puppies? Misery. There they go, Horace Miller. Oh, a lovely pair of turtle doves. And off to the park. Oh, I don't like it, Jasper. Didn't we see the same conundrum in Beethoven? Ah, with animals as large as yours, I like to do a follow-up on rabies shots. I'll only be a moment. Free, finish, and kind. Just lunged. It looks like strawberry sauce. There's nobody home but the little old cook. Go to sleep now. Close your little eyes, little one. Uh, good evening, Mum. We're here to inspect the uh, wiring and the switches. We're from the gas company. Uh, electric ah, company. Ah. They definitely look like they've been working the chimneys. Jim Jiminy, Jim Jiminy, Jim Jim Chiru. When I shake says with you. You're not coming in here, not going in here. Now come off it, Ducky. We got no time. Use me. What's the matter with you two? Lost ears? <laughs> you big long leg lummox. If you don't get out, I'll call the police. She should have been called the police, though. You've cut me to the quick, lady. I've got a sneaky suspicion we're not welcome here. Pack up, we're leaving. I'll call the police. Help! Good night, Ducky. Come and sneak, Steve. 
I'll bet they took every last one. The puppies. Oh, they took the puppies. You don't think it's suspicious that thieves only took the dogs? Only took the dog. She's in the street yelling for police. Why don't you call it like y'all have telephones? <laughs> dog napping. You a shit, Corolla. Fifteen puppies stolen. Anita and her bashful Beethoven. <laughs> she wears fur to bed. See, she has a telephone. Hello. That's Satan on it? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes! How dare you call here? Did you see that? Yes! Not one shilling till the job's done. Fear in the blinking papers. Don't like it, Jasper. Shut up, you idiot. What? Everybody got jaundice? All the bad people, apparently. I would love one of those old rotary phones, though. That is definitely that Satan. That is definitely the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello, Inspector? It's for you. Peter. Oh, Cruella. I just saw the papers. She calling to confess? Come on, Roger. She's a sly one, she is. Where are they? Anita. Oh, sorry, Cruella. How can this woman be this naive? The only person who's been asking for your dogs. Nick, she's eccentric, but she's not a thief. Still number one suspect in my book. Why is Roger and the housekeeper smarter than Anita? That's bothering me. What are we do? Birdie, I'm afraid it's all up to us. Isn't there any hope? There's the twilight bark. That's only a gossip chain. It's the very fastest way to send news. And if our puppies are anywhere in the city, the London dogs will know. Damn Skippy. We'll send the word tonight when our pets take us for a walk in the park. <coughs> We're in luck. It's the Great Dane at Hampstead. <coughs> Pongo. Pretty, come on. <coughs> Look at Marmaduke. Mm, exactly. My, my bad. I needed to get a wee anyway. What is it, Danny? Who's on the telegraph? That's a hell of a yard. It's Pongo, Regent's Park. It's an all dog alert. Fifteen Dalmatian puppies stolen. The humans have tried everything. It's up to us dogs. The twilight bark. Sound the alert. <laughs> This damn Scotty is in every damn Disney movie with dogs. Prissy, come in here! <laughs> Prissy? <laughs> Prissy had a message to get out. Look at the babies. All these recycled dogs. Coco? <laughs> Does it say Vogue? Hey, canine crunchies! Hey! Canine crunchies. Tell us what's going on. What's all the gossip? All the way from London. <gasps> Fifteen puppies stolen. Be up to me to reach the colonel. I'll bark all night if I have to. <coughs> <coughs> Sounds like old Towser. It's an alert. <coughs> Barking signal. It's an alert to the colonel at once. Yes, sir. Right, sir. Right away, sir. You've got the dog alert, but I see geese and cats and horses. <laughs> right, and like horses over there passing the work. message on. What's the idea of barging in at this hour of the night? Sounds like an alert. Yes, Colonel. Come on, Tibbs, on the double. Yes, sir. Right, sir. Do Towser down at Withermarsh, sir. Turn on your hearing aid. Ow. Turn the pack on. You ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Weak and horse of shit. <laughs> That's a bark going out of business. That was a coffer's bark. That was a World War II bark. One long howl, one yip and a wolf. I take that back. I was a World War I bark. Mm. <laughs> yes, thank you. What does that stand for? My great grandfather, a General Francois Heimlich maneuver. World War One and Two. Good guy. Sounds like a number. Three fives of thirteen. That's fifteen, sir. Fifteen, of course, fifteen. See, they're teaching kids math. Fifteen spotted puddles stolen. Balderdash. Balderdash. Better double check it, Colonel. <laughs> it sounds like puppies, sir. Two nights past, I heard puppy barking over at Hell Hall. The old Deville place. No one's lived there for years. There's smoke coming from the chimney. Uh -huh. Strange indeed. They say the old place is haunted or bewitched. She got money, all right. Blasted all Tim's on the double. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Right away, sir. <laughs> Spotty, are you one of the 15 stolen puppies? We're bought and paid for. There's 99 of us all together. Yay! 
99? That has to be illegal. How did they clean that shit up? I'd better count them. You're telling me Cruella was buying pets and it wasn't good enough? Why would you buy puppies when there's less fur? I think she had a deal under the table with the pet shops. I can't think of any other way to make a sense. Hey! Go ahead, Rolly. Yeah, Why is the lettuce, meat, and cheese the cleanest thing in that room? I'd be afraid to sit on the floor. Okay, give you a card. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here. I'll black your other people. Ah, I'll black your other people. Never heard that. That's 50. They're the ones. Load! What is it, Ponga? It's the Great Day. He has news for us. The back bedroom window. Mmm, that's a bark for that ass. Pongos, you've made it. They've been located somewhere north of here. Suffer. Can you leave tonight? Yes, yes, of course. Right away. I'll go along with you as far as Camden Road and give you instructions. Shit, Anita and Roger, they'll be all right. They're grown. When you reach Withermarsh, contact old Towser, and the Colonel will take you to your puppies at the DeVille place. DeVille? The DeVille place? It was her. Oh, I hope we're not too late. If you lose your way, contact the barking chain. They'll be standing by. See, why the dogs looking out for one another? Better than humans. Because they sniff each other's butts. <laughs> Any news, Colonel? Not a blasted thing. Here comes a car. It's heading for Hell Hall. It's stopping at the gate. On the double. Yes, sir. Take over, Captain. Right, oh, sir. I've got Inspector? no time to ask. It's got to be done tonight. Tonight! They ain't big enough. Couldn't get half a dozen coats out of the old caboodle. Dog skin? Coats? The police are everywhere. I want the job done tonight. Do it! And do it now! Can't we see the rest of the show first? We want to see what's my crime. What? Listen, you idiots. I'll be back first thing in the morning. Job better be done. Do you understand? We'll get on with it as soon as the show's over. You better get out of here if you want to save your skins. There's a hole in the wall there by the door. Kids, follow me. Hey, what do you know? Old meathead false water. Come on now, don't crowd. Those dogs been there how long and they never saw their hole? You will receive two weeks vacation, all expenses paid, after you paid your debt to society. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I'm down, nine to go. Can we play this game? Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, uh, no, Miss Birdwell, I'm sorry. Lucky! Then let him get good. Sorry. Answer hey. is no. Three down, seven to go. Must say, I'm extraordinary. I'm afraid we've run out of time. <laughs> See you next week at the same time. What's my crime? Come on, Horace. Let's get on with it. I'll pop him on the head, you do the skinning. <laughs> Hey, Horace, look, they're gone. We'll run them down before you can say Bob's your uncle. Bob's, Bob's your uncle. uncle. <laughs> yeah, puppies, come on. Pack a squint in there and I'll check these other two rooms. Yeah, puppies. This was a whole estate. <laughs> back here, back here. You double crossing little twerps. And after we took care of them all this time. The lies! There they go. I see, Sergeant. No time to explain. Busy, sir. I'm working here. Do you not see chaos happening? Shut that door, Iris. We'll close in on him. I'm afraid we're lost. It can't be the Pongos. That is an old ass bark. It's the Colonel. Are you, are you the Colonel? Pingo. Uh, 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 Pongo. Uh, uh, puppies, are they all right? I'm afraid there's trouble. Big hullabaloo. Follow me. Ah, they've run out of room. A couple of spotted hyenas? What for? I'm a. Are you just standing there watching? You the Colonel! <laughs> By George! Oh! You in the way. Retreat on the double! They're fighting Danny! <laughs> Let's go. I'll skin every one of them little spotted hyenas. Spotted hyenas. I see Mr. Mama. Oh, my darlings. Patch, Pepper. Oh, yes. All 15? Now there's 99 of them. 99? What on earth would she want with so many? Make coats out of us. Aww.
Oh, she couldn't. Dog skin coat. She's a devil. Oh, a witch. Now, now, now. Like I know exactly what you are. Witch. And smell the stink of it on you. Birdie, we'll take them home with us. All of them. Our pets would never turn them out. It's the Baddens. Horace and Jasper. They're following our track. We've got them outnumbered, Tibbs. We'll attack. That would be disastrous. <laughs> He's right, Colonel. We'd better run for it. Out the back way and across the pasture. Thank you, Sergeant. Bless you all. Good luck, Pongos. Yes, good luck. Yeah, out of my way, you <laughs> boy. They're hiding in the hay. Fire one, two. That should paralyze him. There they go, the little sneaks. And you pop back up after that? No, not possible. What if they went down the froze up creek not to leave their tracks? Morris, you idiot. Dogs ain't that smart. All clear. We gave him a slip. Ha <laughs> ha, gave him a slip. Why she always drive angry? Not so much as one blooming footprint. Rose stiff. We're giving up. No, you don't. Find the little mongrel. Takes till next Christmas. Get going. And watch your driving. You want to get nabbed by the police? Uh. Talk about aerodynamics. My tail's froze. Mongrel. We have shelter for you at the dairy barn across the road. Thank goodness. This way, Purdy. The dairy barn across the road. Come on, kids. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Why are you laughing at this? Because he gave him the face like, bitch, why? They weren't going to make it in that. Uh -uh. Have you ever seen so many puppies? All 99 accounted for. The famous Pongos. Been trying to reach you for hours. Afraid you'd been captured. Dreadful weather. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, mother. We're all mother. hungry. You should be grateful you're fucking alive. Do they like warm milk? It's on the house. Roly, wait your turn, dear. Mm. <laughs> no one was a bit too hard. Mm -hmm. A few scraps I saved for you and the missus. Might hold you as far as Dinsford. There's a Labrador there. His pet is a grocer. Now get some rest. I'll be standing watch. Aww. Aww. Milk drunk. <laughs> Hurry, kids. Like, what do you... Okay. What have we here? They thought they could outwit Cruella. Jasper! Horace! Work your way south on the side road. I'll take the main road. Pongo! I've got a ride home for you. Purdy, did you hear that? See the van down the street. It's going to London soon as the engine's repaired. There's room for all of you. There's Cruella. She's wasting so much gas looking for these damn dogs. When fuel goes up, there's no safety net in terms of, of, of margins. Hutch, push me in the fireplace. Let's say, got an idea. Uh. Look, I'm a Labrador. We'll all be Labradors. A hundred and one Labradors. Yeah. Mother, should we? You're already dirty. Now we're rolling around in that nasty ass house. With no shots. <laughs> That's the stuff, the blacker the better. Yeah. <laughs> The sweeter the juice. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. She blacking in the motherfucker too. Stay right with me, kids. I'm so afraid. Do you suppose they disguise themselves? Dogs is always painting themselves black. Yo, idiot. And where are the other people? There's nobody else there. She's not paying y'all enough for this. Somewhere in this village, and we're going to find them. Well, engine's fixed. They're running out of time. The van's about ready to leave. To get aboard, miss. Congo figure his way back. She's watching us keep going. Bink, 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 bink. <laughs> Both of us. It can't be impossible. Time to be out. Come on. How are they doing this on other people's property? Get out with LPP, yeah, you know That's right, you live here. Get them. The little babies. There she is. Hey, lady, what in thunder you trying to do? What in thunder? Woman driver. He determined not to lose. He didn't stop neither. He should have. He's like, uh. Look. Move, bitch. Look how economic that scene is. <laughs> Shove him in the ditch!
You have lost your mind for some dogs. You're about to lose your life and the coat you're currently wearing. Yes! Oh no. She should have died in a drop top getting T-boned like that. You idiot fools! You imbecile! Shut up. Roger, that's your first big hit. Made more money than we ever dreamed of. Still can't believe that Pongo and Purdy would run away. <laughs> the Labrador! They're covered with soot! Oh, Pongo! Pongo! Purdy, oh my darn! They're all the house is fucking filthy. All them damn dogs. Oh my white chess? Oh no. Eight, Two, four, nine, six, and three, is nine. Eighteen, uh, uh, Sixty-five. Twelve. Thirteen. Wait a minute. Two, a hundred and one. Pongo, you old rusk. No, sir. Yeah. Try again. No. We'll buy a big place in the country. Dalmatian oh, plantation. Right. No. Truly an inspiration. No, it's not. It'll be a sensation. No, it won't. Not for you, because you can't keep up. It'll be a shit station. Dalmatian plantation, I say. Have a Dalmatian plantation. Our population can roll. <laughs> Dalmatian plantation. Yeah, everybody wake up. Wake up. Let's give it a freckle scar! Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give 101 Dalmatians its official freckle score. A great time watching it. Of course, there's a gajillion things that happen and you're like, hold on, this doesn't make sense. Can we get some backstory? I need to understand more of why this woman is as crazy as she is. They had their 15 puppies. That's cute. That's a lot of damn kids. As an adult, that sounds insane to me. They were still sleeping in a basket under the table. How are you going to go and train the the rest of them damn dogs. I had a good time until that rushed end. If the ending wasn't rushed, it would have gotten a much better score. Oh, I'm gonna give it a 4.35. We had watched some previous Disney movies where Brooke had used a description called Disney's economic period. 101 Dalmatians may have fallen into that category and I didn't realize it until now because there were a lot of sections that were instrumental. That's always the giveaway for me. There were certain scenes like when Cruella drives into the bottom of the hill and then goes in reverse and does that iconic drive back up. It's just the quality of that. I felt like something was missing though and I can't tell you what that was. It takes a lot for 101 dogs to trudge across England in blistering cold. But Brooke did make a valid point. The ending was rushed because when they got to Densford, their only way out was on the van. How many more pit stops across England are we going to have to have these puppies and dogs run around before they get back home? Did Cruella get arrested? Is she listening to her number one hit single from Cell Block D? Did Jasper and Horace ever get paid? Honestly, they should have just fucking killed Cruella at the bottom of the hill then drive to her house in London, ransack the place, and call it even. But it's still a great movie, and I'm so glad we were able to revisit it. So my freckle score for 101 Dalmatians is going to be four out of five freckles. Drop your thoughts in the comments if you agree or disagree with our scores. And while you're down there, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on two freckled friends. I would actually like to change my score because there were some other holes in there too. Now I can match your score. A four. I'll give it a four. Gosh, all my favorite movies are in the Disney vault. I wish we could live in the Disney vault. Now you can. Mickey! Now on DVD only, it's Journey to the Disney Vault, the ultimate child's dream come true.